New tonight, people are always trying to make their neighborhood a better place to live, but for one Memphian, it's been nearly a half year long battle and he blames MLGW for that. Stefan Reels now on the issue he's been dealing with. Kept calling different MLGW numbers and they're like, this isn't the right number to call. It's been nearly a half a year struggle for Joseph Kelly. Back in August, he tried to call in a leak around Garland and Poplar. Water pouring down all the way down to Poplar. I tried different numbers until finally got someone who uh, was willing to uh, help out. All seemed good when Kelly was told some workers checked out the area downstream of the leak. Kelly called for an update in September, but was told to leave it to MLGW. A couple weeks later, they wrote locate, uh, spray painted locate on the street and then nothing for months and months and months. When the December Arctic blast hit, Kelly thought there might be a chance the leak would be repaired since it had been on MLGW's radar. So when I came back in, I was anxious to see if they had repaired it and they had not repaired it. It wasn't until Kelly tweeted at MLGW directly that something seemed to happen. And whoever was running their Twitter handle was responsive and followed up and as a result, they came out and fixed the leak. However, since then, a hole has occupied what seems like half the road. If there's a car parked here, it basically becomes impassable because there's just not enough room between that hole and any parked cars. While a future timeline for the hole remains unclear, Kelly is asking MLGW to develop an easier way to report issues and keep track of their progress. Something that would allow us to know that MLGW is, you know, is aware that they have an issue on their radar and, and that we can see where it is in the process. We have that kind of with the outage map, uh, but for something like a water leak, uh, there's just no way to know other than to call. That was Stefan Reels reporting. We reached out to MLGW for a comment on the delay in construction. They have not responded to that request, but MLGW President and CEO Doug McGowan says the utility is working on hiring more customer service representatives.